I thought I'd show wow. you all of my little miniature artworks, the 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters, um, up until this point, and I thought I'd show you in a little, lit, a little bit more detail than quickly flashing them by, so you can see how they're coming along. I really like that one because of the, this Chinese cat image, which is faded into it. Sort of gives it a really cool effect. And that's the Mona image. That, I'm going to get some prints run off of this one because I really, really like it. And um, I've already had requests from people to buy it at least ten times over, but I'm not ready to part with it yet, so I'm just going to get some prints and sell the prints. And that's like the uh, Mona Lisa triptych. I really love those colours. And that's that cool layering technique that I featured not so long ago. And that's the rust, rusty metal technique that um, is going to be on one of my text, texture kits, or it's going to be featured. That's a slight variation of that. And of course these are uh, some of the minor compositions. I love how the light reflects off the spray paint almost. I just love playing around with colour and composition. Not being too fussed about what the outcome is. And I guess that's why... And that's, and that's how I think... I have so much success is because I don't worry too much and I think the more you worry about how something's going to turn out the less um, likely chance that it will turn out successfully now obviously a lot of these aren't finished but they give you really good ideas of what you can do um, to larger works So what I'm going to do with these, once most of them are done, get um, one of my friends to choose the best 30, because you should never choose your own work for a show really, I don't think anyway, um, because you're always biased. And then I'm going to frame them, but I'm going to frame them myself. A lot of work, but... I'd rather do it myself rather than pay someone else a whole lot of money to do it. Not that I have a problem with paying out people money, but I've got the skills to be able to do it, so I'm just going to do it. Oh, I like that one. Now these are the ones that I did today with the dandelion leaf. You can sort of see this leaf here. Plus I used this gate pattern, which I think is quite effective. Now this one I really love. That was sort of the first one that I did and it just turned out excellent. I'm not sure I want to do much more to that. And this one, how it's got such a beautiful negative shape where it's really dark and then it sort of fades into the, to all the colours. It's like... I don't know, sort of looking from somewhere dark into the garden, or there's, or the other way around. You're looking, there's the garden outside, and then there's somewhere dark to go, to go inside. Really like that combination. It's very pleasing for my eye. And how the. Um, the back of the um, dandelion left, I mean, that's all its veins and the stem. I mean, how cool is that? And then just by spray painting around the actual plant, you get these negative shapes. And then that was the pencil, just the quick pencil drawing I did of it today. So it just gives you more layers. And a sweet combination of that one. It's really nice. Almost looks like a big feather.
really enjoying this uh, process of trial and error. That's some really good results. And this is almost like a night and day typed feeling. Turned out really well. So that's those works for